What's good, everybody? Sworn Leader um, back to feature another video with yet another electronic device that I've recently acquired. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at this lovely piece of equipment right here. Let me, uh, let me fire it up. This is the, the new Kindle Fire that just came out uh, recently. <clears throat> it's not like, brand brand new, but it's uh, relatively new. It's pretty sick little, uh, pretty sick little device here, and I'm just gonna give my overall opinion of it, uh, show you guys around it a little bit, and um, this is the home screen. When you turn it on, uh, like you just saw, I'll turn it off and turn it back on again so you guys can see. The power button is down here on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it all that well. Just a little power button there. You turn it on, you'll see the background, the time, the date, and there's this little slider here. You slide that across to unlock it, and then it will show you uh, this, all your apps and stuff from the most recently used to the to the one you opened last. So it'll go in order, and then up here you'll see uh, <clears throat> all the different sections. The newsstand is where you can buy books, magazines, things like that. And then it will have like your library, your books, your music, video, docs, apps, and the web browser. Uh, I'm just going to click on the apps. And then it will show you all the apps that you have. And then up here in the right hand corner is the store. So you can go in here and it will load the app store. And you can search search the app store by tapping there and then the uh, full screen keyboard I mean the on screen keyboard will come up and flip sideways and everything just like uh, every other tablet like device <clears throat> I'm actually pretty much sold on this thing because they uh, they offer a lot of the same apps that they have for the iPad and the iPad 2 and stuff and you can get this for uh, under $200. So it's a good alternative to, to buying, you know, a $500 or a $400 iPad. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's the way to go <clears throat> because it actually can be rooted to run as an Android tablet, a full Android tablet. I haven't done that yet because it's, uh, it's relatively new. Uh, just recently just recently got it it actually belongs to a very close friend of mine his name will be in the description you can uh, check his channel out if you wish but he's been kind enough to let me use it for this demonstration video so I'm just gonna go through I'll show you real quick uh, let's see Let's start up Angry Birds Rio, because who doesn't love a little Angry Birds Rio? One thing I'm impressed with about this, aside from the speakers, the sound is ridiculous. But uh, I'm also impressed with the speed. Like, the overall speed is outrageous. Like, it really is a fast little device. And I'll show you, it's just like every other device, you know what I mean? Just like uh, having having um, Angry Birds on your iPod or your iPad. Pretty much the same thing, you know what I mean? And uh, Rio, Rio does cost money, but the original Angry Birds, you can get the ad version completely free. The ad-free version is only 99 cents, so it's not outrageously expensive. And uh, when you're in a game, you can 
quickly exit to the home screen at any point you'll see this little arrow down here at the bottom you tap that and then over here on the left is the home button you hit that takes you right back out to the home screen um, I'm actually going to show you one thing one thing because why not uh, up here in the top right is your web browser if you open that up I'm going to show you guys now really quickly how to stream movies live on your Kindle Fire completely free of charge. You're going to want to type in stream, oh, I misspelled it already. Stream, come on, it's right there up top. Stream, there it is. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold the phone. Alright. There's the address. Stream.sneakymedia sneaky dash media dot com. Hit go. <clears throat> and there'll be a link to this in the description. And then you'll get this list of all these wonderful movies. Now We'll do a uh, hangover part two. You can zoom in and put two fingers on the screen and move apart like that and it will zoom in. And then to zoom out, you took two fingers far away, just like that, and it zooms in and out. So we'll do the hangover part two. <clears throat> and then you'll see it will open up. There'll be a big red arrow in the middle you tap that come on and it will change to a green arrow tap the green arrow come on and then it will load the video come on go full screen Trying to get it to go full screen. Sometimes it takes a minute. Alright, there we go. And there you go. Now I'm I am streaming the hangover part two in full screen on the Kindle Fire free of charge. Thanks to stream.sneaky-media.com. I'll fast forward a little bit. Let me show you guys. See that? Easy as pie. <clears throat> Streaming movies live on your Kindle Fire, completely free of charge. See that? Thanks to Sworn Leader. All right, let's tap back out to the home button. And I mean, and there's it's countless, 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 countless things you can do with this. It's just as good as any other tablet, in my opinion. I mean, it doesn't have a built-in camera or. Um, a built-in mic, but you can get a mini USB mic for it, and use Skype and all the other stuff. Uh, I got this nifty little, this nifty little app here. On-screen piano, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, it's pointless, but it's pretty cool. Um, Facebook, right here. That's Facebook. It's called Friendcaster for Facebook. But it's basically Facebook for the uh, for the Kindle Fire, New York Times. You can go through uh, if you <clears throat> if you download the New York Times. Come on. It'll come up with all the uh, all the top stories for the day, and you can tap on one. This is actually better if you uh, do it the long way. And then, you know, you go from page to page, and you can read through the articles, and it updates every morning. You get the paper for that day, basically, and you can go through and read all of the, the top articles of the day. I mean, it's it's basically sick, and you can download ebooks If you like reading, you can download ebooks. It's pretty much glare-free for the most part. 
uh, it's it's a nice little device so I recommend you grab one up 200 bucks can't go wrong all uh, you can do basically everything you could do I mean it, it, the functionality is obviously limited when compared to the iPad because the iPad <clears throat> uh, offers things that this doesn't obviously but in the end for the money you spend on it it is well worth the purchase really cool device go out and grab one subscribe like comment rate friend me whatever you want to do uh, visit sneaky-media.com for all your for all your media needs movies music isos games the whole nine and uh, sneaky-codes.tk for uh, for all your PSP homebrew hacks, everything like that. Trying to get away from the PSP a little bit. Trying to branch out. I'm going to make some more videos regarding the Kindle Fire. Uh, more videos regarding the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, anything tech related that I think you guys would, would benefit from, I'm going to try and get down like that. So, yeah, that's about it for today. Kindle Fire, Sworn Leader, signing out.